Matt and Bradley from Gear Knobs, and we are here at the Hodge Park Golf Course in Liberty with the Terrible Club Match Play Challenge. So I actually saw a video of a guy playing with some Hobby Lobby or like thrift store golf clubs, and I thought, how can I make that worse? If you're going to a thrift store to buy golf clubs, you'd probably buy some clubs that you actually wanted. We did not. We bought clubs that nobody wanted. And the rules are, for the first hole, we use regular clubs, and whoever wins that hole then has to use the terrible clubs. I have a youth driver and three wood, some really old high irons, some left-handed mid and low irons, uh, the world's tiniest five iron, and a pink putter with like a wooden grip. So first hole is going to be fine, but everything after that is going to be crazy. So hope you guys enjoy. And that is positively crushed down the fairway, heading a little bit left, sort of towards the cart path, but I think that'll turn out just fine, just fine indeed. Ooh, just a little bit over. First hole is done. I ended up two putting for bogey, and Matt ended up three putting? Uh, two putting, three chipping. Two putting, three chipping, which is not so great for double bogey. So it looks like I am using the fun clubs first. Up next, we have a pretty short 310 yard par four. Uh, even has a cart path there on the right side if you want to play real aggressive. You can definitely drive the green on this one uh, with normal clubs. Let's just show them. So this is my regular driver. This is the driver I'm using today. Yes. Oh. And uh, that was uh, not the right call. Skyed about 80 feet straight up into the air and off to the right. So looking pretty good for me so far. Let's see if he can redeem himself after that terrible blunder on the last hole. Wow, and he just gave me a big chance on this one. So after Bradley's amazing and brave pitching wedge shot uh, with a pitching wedge probably 20 years older than him, uh, he's actually put it up on the, onto the green, probably about 20 feet out. And... Uh, We'll see how uh, how this goes out for him. And he's just absolutely crushed it. Uh, hit it about power, yeah. He's got the flower power. Hit it about 15 yards or sorry, 15 feet past the hole. So it's too strong. Stop working out. So after hole two, we both ended up three putting. But since I had that penalty stroke at the beginning of the hole, Matt ended up winning it. So he is going to be the one using the fun clubs on this next hole, which is a par three. Came off the toe and he was still short. What a shame, what a shame. Let's see what he can come up with on his second shot, his approach shot. Bradley, meanwhile, has chosen something pretty standard and boring, like a seven iron or some, something like that, so. Let's see this boring easy shot for him. They're looking pretty good. Hair to the right. And came down, looks like on the green. I ended up two putting for bogey. Matt has a chance to go one up on me with this putt for par. With the bad clubs, which he likes to rub in my face. And just like that, Matt is one up on me going into the next hole, hole four, which is a par five. I think if I just swing, I'll hit this straight. We'll see. We're on hole four, which is a shorter par five, easily drivable in two with regular clubs. But uh, with this youth driver, let's see what Matt can do off the tee. And that was absolutely straight. It ended up going just past those trees on the right hand side. God, crushed it. That's about as good a drive as you can get. Straight down the middle of the fairway, flight straight. I think that's the best drive I've hit in a very, 
very long time. This five iron, I'm really 90% sure it was actually in a fire because it looks like the bottom of the club is actually melted on there somehow. That doesn't clean off. And then uh, as far as scale, I'm a pretty tall guy, 6'4". That's a five iron. It just barely skips past the cart path. As if to add insult to injury, you can almost see my ball down there, nestled perfectly in the fairway, as if stricken from the gods to the fairway. It's gonna run. It's a fairway club. We are both on here on the green, hitting five. I left my second chip fat. Ooh, Matt just left a big window open. Okay, so if I make this putt, we go back to even. This is golf and there's no etiquette in golf. Bradley, you're gonna choke. Your mom doesn't love you. Your dad drinks. So he can forget how embarrassed he is of you. Well, I don't know about that. Ooh. All right, on this hole, kind of slightly phase right, you want to hit it just to the left of that big tree up there. Completely blind. Hopefully there's not somebody on the back side of that hill. Uh, but Bradley has gone with a driving iron. We have not hit this club before, so we have no idea what's going to happen but I'm optimistic. I think it looks good. Ooh, just a hair right. So here's Matt with his tee shot on this long par four, short par five. We're playing it as a par four. Hitting a low draw going off just a little bit left, should hopefully still be safe, if not safe, on the left side rough. How are you feeling about that shot, Matt? Uh, not so great. I was trying to fade it, and I drew it, so that's never a good sign. So. Matt is still looking for his ball. I have a feeling that it kicked back even further into the deeper stuff. Let's see what he's going to do with it. Decent amount of green to work with. Not a bad shot. Not a bad out at all. Bradley's got a fun little circus pitch here. There's uh, fans here to dry off the green right in the way of the shot. Way up and over it. That'll play all right. All right, so update after uh, that hole. I too putted for a bogey. Bradley managed to rescue himself, and he managed to sink that for a bogey as well. All right, Bradley swinging the uh, super old four iron. It's about 200 or so to the edge of the water from where we're sitting at. I'm worried he might be going a little long on this. And I didn't need to worry at all. Trailing a little bit right, but it should be safe. I might have gone too far right. Well, Those trees are in play now. Yeah, trees are definitely in play. That's gonna be too hard. So Matt has found himself right in front of these trees, which makes going over quite difficult, so he's decided to use the driving iron and hit a low punch to try and kick it under the trees. Let's see how that works out for him. And it's up and past the water, so he has one less thing to worry about there. So Bradley is a much braver man than I. 
he's decided, since he is just under 100 yards out, he's going to go lefty and hit the left-handed 9-iron with uh, that water right there in front of him. And it looks pretty good. And that landed just short of the green, and he's got a short chip to get on. 160, uphill, slight right to left wind. That's looking pretty good. Oh, that's crisp. That's looking pretty good. Blind green landing. Oh my god. Where'd that end up? I can't tell how deep the uh, pin is, but right at it. Right at it. Potential. Matt's second shot unfortunately just barely carries the green. So it looks like he's going to be chipping with that pitching wedge again. Hopefully with a little bit more success. So Matt has to sink this putt to leave the potential for a tie. I'm putting for bogey and he's putting for his bogey. Ooh, definitely not as much break as what he saw. Let's see if he can finish this one out. So nice. There we go. All right, Bradley's decided to do the smart thing and he's going to be hitting a wooden five wood to uh, lay up and get himself in play for a good second shot at the green. Hard dog leg left. So he's gonna be aiming just to the right of that big tree right up there. Oh, and he shanked it right. No. Wait. Apparently it's in. Short of where it needs to be, but apparently it came back. I hit it off the toe. Yeah. So Bradley somehow managed to pull that ball back after it came off to the right. Pulled it back left, and so now it's on the left side of the fairway. He's got the little mini five, five iron out. He's going to try and push it in between those two trees there and get himself a good approach shot on the green. So he's laying it up, playing it safe. The big tree on the left is blocking any direct shot at the hole. And he got a hold of it. It looks like he got too much of a hold of it because that's over the fairway. Off on the right side. So it'll be a challenging shot from there. So Matt is off looking for his ball that he power hooked into the left side rough on this long dog leg left. Meanwhile, my ball is right over here, just to the right of the cart path, and about a hundred or so yards out. It'll be interesting to see what Matt ends up doing from his position over there. But I'm going to go ahead and hit right now. So after the ninth hole tee shot, uh, my drive actually carried right about to the center of the fairway. Matt's unfortunately had a little bit of a hook to it and went off into the left side rough. Hopefully not into the long stuff where he has no chance of getting it. But either way, we are both playing our second shot as best as we can. So after nine holes, uh, it got very interesting. Uh, Matt could not find his second shot that he hit from off in the rough, which was a pitching wedge punch shot. Uh, we ended up finishing the hole, and as we were walking off the green, Matt managed to find his ball and uh, hit it in and five, which would have tied me. But I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. So we're going to leave it up to you guys. Why don't you comment down below and uh, you decide who should be the real winner of, uh, of this match. Because uh, I think it's me. Mm.